Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I wanted to make a video about all the things that I'm currently reading and am in the middle of to see if this can inspire me to actually finish something. I've been having a pretty weird reading like last two or three weeks. There's just a lot going on and I feel like I haven't really had the time to devote to like a full book. I've read two graphic novels in that time, but they're things that I read in like one sitting. I want to be able to read something that's longer, maybe talking about what I am reading right now and what I'm thinking about them might inspire me to finish any of these. The thing I've probably been reading the longest and the thing that I've been probably neglecting the most is The Clay Girl by Heather Tucker. I have less than 100 pages to go. I probably have like 80 pages to go in this and I just haven't finished it. I don't know why because I was really enjoying it and I really enjoy the main character here and want to know how this ends. I think this might be the way that it is written and it's both a pro and a con. It's a book that is descriptive and thoughtful and kind of metaphorical and isn't very plain. There are situations in here where there's stuff going on in the background the way that her inner monologue is kind of narrating the story that you have to take in a little bit more slowly. I also kind of feel like there's like a stalling in the progression of the story too. I sort of wish that more things would have happened already and I feel like she's perpetually stuck. That's the whole point of it but I just wish that there was she had a little bit more agency where I, I'm not reading as much about her horrible mom and her boyfriend as I am at the moment. Another thing that I've been reading for a while that I stopped and actually returned to the library is Give Us the Ballot by Ari Berman. This I'm probably 25% of the way through and it's about a 350 page book and it's about voting rights in America and the attack that voting rights are facing here. I thought that this would focus more on present day problems and I think it does that but I haven't gotten there yet so the first 25% that I've read so far I have really focused on the civil rights movement and their work getting the Voting Rights Act passed but hasn't really gotten into the ways that politicians currently are attempting to diminish voting rights. So I think when I get over the hump of the history, which a lot of it I do know, I will get to new information that makes it a little bit more engaging for me. I also think one of my problems was that I was listening to this on audiobook and I think it'll be a little bit better listening to it on book physical book form because the audiobook is like 12 hours long and it shouldn't need to be 12 hours long when it's only like 300 pages. Another thing that I started and like gave up on, stopped reading, I read like 20% of it is Men Explain Things to Me by Rebecca Solnit. I wanted to get into Rebecca Solnit and I wanted to get into essays as well. I thought this would be a great starting point. It's probably one of her most famous works. I really did enjoy the few essays that I've read, but I feel like I need to push myself to read like an essay a day or something like that to really pick it up. And I think another thing of it was that I had it on ebook um, off of Hoopla and it's not as like demanding of me to finish it because Hoopla you can just check out whatever you want and there's no holds, there's no waiting. And so the really convenient thing that um, makes it easy to attain and start reading it is also a detriment to me because it feels like it's there forever and I can just get it whenever. And so it just kind of sits there. Another thing that I started that I should have finished already but I still haven't is my favorite thing is Monsters. Almost halfway there I think, like one fourth done. And I have some thoughts about this so far in the way that it's presenting the story. I think it's really genius in that it's so different for the way that it's telling the story but I don't think it's as compelling and it hasn't grabbed me as much as I initially expected it to based on what other people were saying about it. I guess that kind of happens for a lot of these books and maybe I should just take people's opinions a little bit less because not that it has led me astray but it hasn't worked out 100% of the time. Um, like two examples are Clay Girl and my favorite thing is Monsters. I, I want to be in this experience with people that I watch and I want to enjoy what they enjoy but 
I don't know why. I, f I feel distracted by a lot of other things, and so I just put these down and I don't pick them back up. Another book is Unmentionable. I probably read 40 pages of this. I was really enjoying it. It was making me laugh out loud, and again, I got distracted by other things. I stopped reading this, and I started to salvage the bones by Jasmine Ward. I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm probably 25% of the way through, and I only started a couple days ago, and I think this is kind of pulling me out of my distracted face that I'm having with these other books. I have so many books out from the library too and I don't know, I just haven't gotten to them. I've been doing my readings for class and then feeling too lazy to read when it's time to read for fun. So I'm currently in the middle of, what, six, seven books? And what am I doing? I know this happens to other people as well. You just start a book and you put it down and then you start something else and then you put that down and then you just have all these books going on at the same time. And it can be a little bit like overwhelming, but I know that once I do get to read these books, I probably will like all of them. I just need to set time for myself to actually sit down and get to read them. Thanks so much for watching this video of me talking about all the books that I'm currently reading and am distracted by, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.